Sony's PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation in general hasn't been in the news that much lately. The entire 2021 holiday season was completely dominated by Xbox. So when 2022 kicked off, everyone thought Sony would get back into the news cycle. Well, they did, just not in the way we thought. We have former devs and even former head of PlayStation calling Sony out. Let's get into what is said and why Sony's PlayStation looks a lot different from the PlayStation 4 era. Let's get into this. Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to be notified on future content, hit that small little bell icon. And if you want to go that extra mile to support the channel, hit that join button. Okay, enough of that. Let's get into this pretty amazing story regarding former directors for studios that were a part of Sony's PlayStation studio, Sony Bend. We also have Sean Layden, the former head of PlayStation in the PS4 era lead, taking a couple shots at Sony's PlayStation. I bring this up because last year during the summer and a little before that, there was reports that multiple studios, including Sony Ben, that had some rifts with Sony's PlayStation leadership about the direction they were putting their studios. This was mainly from Sony Ben, the creators of Days Gone, a game that released in 2019 to some deserved criticism. Yet even with those criticisms and the game not performing well in the review scores, it sold extremely well for a brand new IP. In fact, it sold just as well, if not better than the highly rated and loved Ghost of Tsushima. Let's get into what is being said and what the former director of Days Gone had to say. Days Gone director claimed Sony made it feel like a disappointment despite outselling Ghost of Tsushima. Director claims the PS4 game sold around 10 million. Jeff Ross, who left Ben Studios in 2020 after some 20 years at the company, made the claim on Twitter following Wednesday's announcement that fellow PlayStation exclusive Ghost of Tsushima has now sold 8 million copies. Ross claimed that Days Gone has actually outsold the much praised Sucker Punch adventure despite PlayStation's internal teams allegedly projecting a less positive impression of its performance. Okay, so the first thing I want to say is that I played both of these games. I played Days Gone for about 30 hours, if not more, and I found the experience a little overdone. I wish the story was 10 hours shorter and I felt the performance of the game on the PS4 Pro was leaving a lot to be desired. Yet I also played the game on PC when it released, and I do have to say it's one of the best ports PlayStation has done to the PC and it makes the game that much better. As for Ghost of Tsushima, that's another game I played and loved. The combat was on point, the open world was great, yet there was still parts of the game that could be improved, but overall, it was a really good game for a new IP. Which brings me to the praise that Ghost of Tsushima got when PlayStation and Sucker Punch announced they sold 8 million copies of the game. Let me say right here that selling 8 million copies of a brand new IP is a massive accomplishment. This is why Horizon Zero Dawn is a massive success that sold well over 10 million or 12 million units and is one of the biggest franchises that Sony has. But this brings up another question that we need answered. Why is Days Gone looked at as a failure if it sold well over 8 million copies on the console and also sold over 2 million copies on Steam when it released on PC? All the while, Ghost of Tsushima is going to be looked at as a success, yet it sold just as many copies as Days Gone, if not less, which is something that Jeff Ross brings up in a social media post. Here's what he had to say. At the time I left Sony, Days Gone had been out for a year and a half and a month and sold over 8 million copies. It's since gone on to sell more and then a million plus on Steam. Local studio management always made us feel like it was a big disappointment. Hashtag Days Gone. Hashtag PlayStation. Jeff Ross responded to the Game Informer post saying that Ghost of Tsushima reached another fantastic milestone with over 8 million copies sold. And trust me, that's a massive accomplishment for a game that deserves all the love. And when Ghost releases on PC, it's going to sell even more units because it's just a good game. Yet the point of this is to talk about why Days Gone and Sony Ben were left in the dust when it comes to their game. They went from a talented studio that was making some cool PSP games and mobile games for Sony devices, they were some of the best games on those devices and were highly rated, yet they wanted to push themselves and their creative freedom and bring out bigger games, which was in the form of Days Gone, a game I didn't personally love and enjoy to play all that much, but I saw the promise for the future installments in the studio, I saw the growth there, I saw that maybe their next game 
could be that much better. I could see a talented studio hone in their skills and give us an even better sequel or a bigger AAA game with much more polish the next time they release something. That's what you do. You help people learn and you help people make games and then later on, that talent can use what they learned to make a better game. In fact, What's even better about this is that Sean Layden, the former head of PlayStation, responded to this tweet by Jeff Ross and had some cool things to say. Here's what's said. Former PlayStation America boss Sean Layden was one of those who responded to Ross's post writing, Congratulations. Always thought it was an ambitious and impressive title. The Hordes. It was a real privilege to be there on launch day. Will not forget. Okay, okay, so we all know that Sean Layden left Sony's PlayStation, and he seemed to lose a battle with Jim Ryan for the head position of the PlayStation platform. We all know the story, and we all know that Sean's been very quiet for a while now. Not to mention, he wasn't given a good send-off. Sony and PlayStation basically acted like nothing happened and didn't even acknowledge his departure all that much. In fact, they just put Jim Ryan on the screen and moved on. So I think that Sean Layden was the one to give Sony Ben the green light to make Days Gone. He trusted his developers to make a big AAA game that would sell well, which it really did. So why has Sony looked at this game as a failure all the while praising Ghost of Tsushima as this massive success? Oh, and why did they reject the sequel pitch that Sony Ben had, much like the article mentions right here? Speaking publicly last year, Days Gone director confirmed that he was at one point working on a Days Gone 2 pitch, but due to NDA with his former employer, couldn't confirm if it had been cancelled. However, he has since suggested that this is indeed the case. On Wednesday, he responded to a fan, I was planning on building on top of the original for a sequel. Even the first kill zone got a 70 on Metacritic, but the sequel roared back with a 91. You gotta crawl before you walk, you gotta walk before you can run. Last year, a Bloomberg report first suggested that PlayStation had rejected plans for a sequel to Days Gone. Although the first game had been profitable, its development had been lengthy and critical reception was mixed, so a Days Gone 2 wasn't seen as a viable option, Bloomberg claimed. Okay, there's a lot to unpack here. First being that Days Gone didn't get the best critical scores. In fact, I gave the game a lower score because I thought the frame rate issues were apparent and I didn't find the story all that compelling, plus it was too long, they could have shaved that down a bit. Yet again, I saw promise in that studio. That's something that this game director brought up when it came to Killzone. The game got a 70 Metacritic and came back with a 91 critical score. So why isn't Sony trusting their studios to execute on something like this again? Why aren't they giving them the time to work on their franchises they started? I know they do it with the big ones like God of War or Uncharted or Guerrilla Games with Horizon, but why can't the other smaller studios who want to expand get the same treatment? That's something that isn't going to bode well for them if they want to create memorable games, not to mention give creative freedom to the developers. And this is something we talked about before last year. There was multiple reports that Sony Ben was being turned into basically a support studio for Naughty Dog, and the leadership at Sony Ben pushed back hard and had to fight tooth and nail to get the game they wanted to build, which is what the article talks about right here. Because Ben's developers feared they might be absorbed into Naughty Dog, the report claimed that the studio's leadership asked to be taken off the un charted project and are now working on a new game of their own. Sony Interactive Entertainment later confirmed that Ben Studios working on a new IP and building on the deep open world systems that they developed with Days Gone. This story has been going on for a while and I think we'll hear more about this in the next few years, especially if Sony Ben's next game isn't a critical success with a lot of sales behind it. Because last year it was reported that Sony is going to only concentrate on big AAA games that can turn into multi-billion dollar franchises. The problem with that is you pigeonhole creative minds into making one specific game instead of giving them the freedom to make whatever they want. Something that Xbox takes pride in with their developers. Who knows, maybe the new leadership at Sony wants things to be different. But from what we've seen so far, we can easily see that Sony is very different when it comes to the PS4 era and what they did before. There's more competition this generation, and there's going to be way more developers wanting to make games that they want to make. Let's hope Sony Ben creates a better game, and let's hope PlayStation gives them enough time to make that game. Either way, the story is fascinating because there's a lot of moving parts at Sony right now, and I don't think people understand just how much change there is over at Sony, and how this studio and all the people that were part of Ben's studio are going to speak out about this because these sales numbers is not equal. 
Selling 10 million units for a new IP is massive. Selling 10 plus million units is even bigger. And you look at Ghost of Tsushima, a new IP that sold 8 million units and will probably sell well over 10 to 12 million once it comes on PC, that's pretty big for Sony. But what is success to them now? But enough about what I think about all this, tell me what you think about all this. Are you shocked Sony got called out? Well, we hear about other developers having troubles with PlayStation. Did you find Days Gone to be a good game? Did you enjoy Ghost of Tsushima more? Do you find both games to be a success? Will Sony only allow big franchises into their first party? Is Sony forgetting about the smaller games and the smaller studios? Go down below and let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button and that like button that support us out the channel more than you know. And give me a follow on Twitter at Zalker87. I'm always on there talking games and sharing my latest videos. Plus, I love interacting with everyone there. So get on Twitter and let's talk about gaming. Also, follow me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is Zalker87, just like my channel name. See what games I'm playing and let's compete in achievements for the month. So right now, I've been playing a lot of Horizon Zero Dawn on the PC. I'm having a great time with it. I want to beat it before we get to Dying Light 2 and we get to uh, Horizon Forbidden West. And I've been playing a lot of Dying Light on top of that with my buddies. We're pretty far into it. I think we're going to beat it this weekend, so I'm looking forward to that. And I've been playing a lot of Halo on the multiplayer side, plus Serious Sam and a bunch of other Game Pass games. There's a lot going on right now. I'm enjoying all the gaming that's happening. But you know what? I want to see what Sony Ben works on, and I want to see what Sony's going to do about these callouts because this is pretty big to talk about, especially since Sony is dropping a bunch of new games this year, and they would want to get the media on the right side for them. They don't want to have all these problems and this drama in the media. They want to talk about Horizon Forbidden West, God of War, Ghostwire Tokyo, and get those in positive lights. Let's hope that happens because you know what? That's what we're here for, to talk games and be positive about them. So let me know what you're playing. Are you on the Xbox Series X, the PS5, or are you on your PC playing something? Let me know down below, because that's what we're here for, to talk games. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and until next time, remember, enjoy your gaming. Later.